Okay, here's a story. Storms are coming. I'm in northeast Oklahoma. Okay. I don't trust that. That could fall right off, man. All right. So storms are coming from the west. And it's kind of like, do I really want to put up an antenna when I know it's just going to rain and I can't use it tonight? So maybe I'm just going to... I'm gonna throw up an antenna, make a few contacts, and then pull it down because I don't want an antenna both maybe getting struck by lightning and the rain to hit. That's kind of funny. We used to have a baby cow, calf, and we raised it in that barn. Now it's completely taken over by weeds. Anyway, I'm out here at my mom's ranch. We got 10 acres. It goes all the way down there to the corner and back. Um, I don't, the problem is I don't have much time. Like I said, storms are coming. So I maybe have like an hour and a half I'm gonna sit there, I think, throw it in the tree, make a few contacts, and then bring it down. Okay, so I have the throw bag. I've got that tree over there. Let's get it up and quickly get this done. I have plenty of cord in here. So what I'm gonna do, the bag is over there. It's caught in the tree. I'm just gonna bring it straight up. So hang tight. I just hope I'm in that tree good enough up there, otherwise it'll pull out and drop. And I'd have to re-throw everything. And that's just what happened. Okay, I screwed the shot up twice. Every time you screw up, you gotta reset everything. I'm sick of it. I went and I got my device. Let's get this done. Maybe you wanna see what I'm doing. First shot is still way overshooting it. Way overshooting it. That's all right though. Okay, let's take a look around. After the third try, I finally used my slingshot and it worked. Ugh. So what do we have here? I decided to come over this way. And what I've got is a chair, high-end fed. All the way up there, I don't have it super tight. They said, do not make it super tight. Got this going up there. And down in that tree, wrapped around several times down. Do it, I have to do it under there. And then I'll pull the whole thing back this way. And there's my bag, there's my cable. Now let's check out the radio, KX2. KX2, 20 meters, cell phone. And I got the bio NO, let's see, that's the 12 amp hour pack. My notepad. My log book will be here. I'm going to be doing single sideband. Let's check the weather. Dew point 58.1. Comfort index 78.9. Delta T, wind speed. Wind speed is actually like more like three, three to four miles an hour. Sun's going down. Storm's coming that way. It's temperature 73.8. It's nice and muggy out. CQ, CQ. N9YO calling CQCQ -CQ, Northeast Oklahoma. N9YO calling CQCQ. N9YO calling CQ from Northeast Oklahoma. CQCQ -CQ, November 9 Yankee Oscar calling CQCQ. N9YO calling CQCQ -CQ from Northeast Oklahoma. CQCQ. -CQ. I don't know, man. Everyone told me. Everyone said 10 watts was enough to do single sideband. No one's come back yet. CQCQ N9YO calling CQCQ N9YO calling CQ. I'm also, I don't have an antenna tuner. It's That antenna is tuned on 20 meters, so I don't have an antenna tuner pumping 10 watts out. Antenna's going north. It's slanted north. N9YO calling CQCQ N9YO calling CQCQ N9YO calling CQCQ from Northeast Oklahoma CQCQ November 9 Yankee Oscar calling CQCQ Yes, okay, Willie. Thank you very much. You're five and nine in Florida. My QTH Southeast Coast of Florida. N9YO November 9 Yankee Oscar. November 9, Yankee Oscar. November 9, Yankee Oscar. Good 
57, you are 59 in Oklahoma, Oklahoma. All right. I did. I did get us. I made a contact. November 6, Oscar Kilo United. In 6, OKU. CQ, CQ. It's, it feels muggy and kind of like cool, like the spring cool, warm, but cool at the same time, not too hot. Let's check the weather. I know storms are coming. I wish I had a barometer, but I don't. Wind speed says four miles an hour max. Uh, temperature 72.8. I find that hard to believe. It feels cooler than that. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar. Okay, I'm running out of time, so I dropped to 30 meters, and I'm going to call CQ on using Morse. This is 40 meters, 7.050, and it's really noisy. Hear all that? That is heading towards me from the west. I'm right here, Miami, Oklahoma. That stuff is coming from that way. So things are getting darker and stuff, but I gotta try to make a contact. I'm on the QRP frequency 14060. I will say the filters on the KX2 are easy, easy to use. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling. CQ. Okay, I just missed uh, recording it, but I, I made a contact. Let's see, but it, it wasn't a real contact. WB4NWV. WB4NWV. I don't even know where he is. But I was talking to him and then he said I faded out. Man, 10 watts is not enough. I have struggled and struggled. He heard me a little bit and then I fa he said I faded out, but I could hear him. And then I made one other sideband contact. It was a, a contest to California. I think it was a contest. So I had one success, but then tons and tons of calling cq even on i did C cw also 10 watts kx2 i think the bands are bad but 10 watts it's there's a reason why i started using that yezu 891 the reason i use that yezu 891 is because i get the 100 watts and i can i make a lot more contacts i had to struggle 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 so anyway i'm gonna put everything up and i'm gonna go maybe check out this storm the clouds are just kind of Rolling along there. Yeah, it's been it's been quite a struggle. But it's been fun though. Well, I couldn't do any good in ham radio. Time to go fishing.